horribly hideous golf shoes. I don't. Look, you, I could have put my shirt. I could have put my. This is Scuba Steve. What's in the bag edition? Got to make you guys fun have of me. been asking me for this for months now, and we're finally gonna do the Scuba Steve. What's in the bag? So uh, why don't you go ahead and start out? I feel like I'm gonna have to help you through almost all of this. You will not help me through anything. Okay, of this. here I know we go. He's been practicing. About this. Okay, where, where you want to start? You want to start with the putter? Okay. Yeah, let's start with the putter. I got a Scotty Cameron putter here. The head cover is probably worth more than the putter. It is not. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> it's California. It's California. And <laughs> Canardo. It's a California series Coronado. Coronado is what it is. And and this is actually the first time I've ever seen him with the head cover on it. Tell him why you don't put the head cover because on it. Because it falls off and I have to find it all the time and it's worth more than the putter. <laughs> That's why. Okay, we're going to keep going. Okay, let's go to the wedges now. All right, I um, got a six. You want to pull them out? Yeah, you might as well. All right, let me just pull one of them out because they're all the same. I right? have a sixty degree. What uh, lofts do you play them in? Fit, sixty. Fifty six and fifty two. Okay. They're nickless. These are older than dirt, <laughs> but they I still hit them very well. I would put quotations around very well. Very well. Yeah, air quotes around. Very, very well. All right, let's go to the and irons now. I just upgraded. No, to... no, let's just go to the irons. Let's go right. to the irons now. Uh, the irons are, I've got a U wedge. No, don't tell me what number. You have what kind okay. of irons? Irons have ping irons. P he has ping They're irons. They're G20s. <laughs> these G20 irons, if anyone watched the Beverly Hills vlog, you didn't have these. No. You, I think you hit uh, Wilson's when we did that one, didn't you? No, I hit Adams. Adams? I think yep. they were Wilson's. We're going to go back and go to the video on this. I think it was Wilson's. I was... don't own a set of Wilson's. You did at the time. I have no... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, because you sold me them, too. Here, look, hold like... these. No, I... Now, you got Seriously, these... for two weeks, he sold me a new set of irons every week. Seriously. You're my best customer right here. <laughs> you, okay, you bought the G20s. Why did you get the G20s? Because you were very I went, convinced on these. I went to the G20s because the Wilsons that he sold me had a... Quit saying I sold you. You decided to buy those. I didn't sell had them. Had a graphite shaft on it, which I did not like. So you went back to the steel. I went back to steel. What do you like about the G20? They're just for very forgiving. And wait, what's the set makeup on those? I hit you through six iron. Through six iron. Yes, I don't have a five in there because I can't hit a five, but I do own one. You so you stop it. You do I, stop at the six. I stop at the six. You took it out because you didn't hit it very well. I didn't hit it well. Okay, since you don't hit the five well, what do you have in its stead? This baby right here. And what is it? A G5 27 degree, which is a five hybrid. It's a G25, and it's a. <laughs> It's Am I correct? A, it's a G25. It's a year, a couple of models off, but close enough. We'll give that to you. 27 degree. Which is equivalent about, to about a five. five. Yeah, that, that's a good, I like that gapping. And perfect. Then, and then from there, where do you go? Then I go to the G20 five wood. Ooh, you nailed that one. G25 wood. Did you clean these before I came? These are always in pristine condition. I feel like they're always <laughs> caked with dirt every time I play with you. So this is the... The G20, 5 wood, 18 degree. You play regular flex and all Regular these, right? flex shaft. And they're all stock regular flex shafts? Yes, as far as I know. You sold them to me, you tell me. Okay. <laughs> so you have a 3 wood in the I, bag? 3 wood, G30. Okay. A what? regular shaft, and it's adjustable. It's adjustable, but you have no idea how to adjust it. I just know that I put it at plus. <laughs> <laughs> plus. So what you've done since it I've is adjustable. raised the loft. Yeah, is we've put it in the plus setting to increase the loss, so it takes it from 14.5 uh, up to closer to, I think, 15.5. Uh, I believe that's right. And, uh, then... and now on to the driver, which you, let's be honest, the last, since my conception, you've had trouble hitting drivers. Exactly. They, they've always went right. They've always went right on you. And uh, we found one that I think I've seen you hit at least a couple times uh, in a couple rounds of golf, and I think it's the best driver you ever hit. I believe so, without a doubt. Yeah, it's definitely straight. Now let them show them what it is. We've built it, it is now. the G35. G30 <laughs> got turbulators. It's the G30 driver is what it is. And yes, it does in fact have turbulators. 
Uh, well, tell them what loft and everything you play it in. Uh, the zero position, no, which is it's, negative. It's, he plays a 12 degree. Ten and a half, isn't it? It's a 12 degree. It says it right there on the bottom. Oh, you, all I, you have to do is just read it to him. What do I got a 12 degree driver for? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a ten and a half. No wonder I can't hit the thing very far. <laughs> all right, 12 degree driver. And the, the important thing is, is I don't even know if I told you this, it's in the SF Tech version, and the SF Tech strands, stands for Straight Flight Technology. And what they've done is they put the weight in the heel of that driver, and I promise you, this is one of the most slice-resisting, most forgiving drivers out there. Uh, with all that weight on the, the heel side there, what it does is it just slows that part of the driver down, it lets the toe close, and it lets you hit straighter drives reduces a lot of fade spin which is why you probably hit it so straight you look so confused i right? do hit it straight <laughs> i do hit it what, very what straight. setting do you have it on uh the Did zero you, we definitely got lucky because it's a used driver I just, I knew as soon and as it, it came with this shaft. It, it did come with it. You're correct. But I just knew as soon you as you sized came it in, up for me. Yes. As soon as it came in, I knew that fit your game. And I'm, and, the, and the truth about this thing is they have a demo day at Bovix. I went over and I hit this thing and I loved it from the very get go, but it was way out of my price range. That is so, you shouldn't. So you just used our facilities. For used your, personal your facilities gain. for personal gain so that if one came in used, and at my discounted price from my son, I could now afford. Don't do this. This driver. Don't do this. Right <laughs> here. But anyway, that's so that wraps up uh, pretty much the, the the clubs, the hard goods in the bag. But let's talk about the golf ball because this was a revolution for you. This is your first time. This, this is the first time I ever saw you get excited about a golf ball. And this is not an endorsement because I promise you, he doesn't endorse things. Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> My heart goes out to Bridgewater. <laughs> okay. He uh, he switched over to the Callaway Chrome Soft True Viz Ball, and I've never seen someone so protective of golf balls in my life. We played in an outing, and any time there was a, 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 any kind of water or woods or hazard, he would put this ball away and get a different ball because he was scared to lose it. Because I can spin this ball better than any ball I've ever had in my life. I agree. You do have great green side control with that. I think that ball fits you very well, and uh, I think... I, why do you play the true? Why do you like the true viz though? You love the true viz. I, I think it's because it's got lower compression. I can hit it farther. No, the true viz, the pattern on. I like the because it makes the ball look bigger. You think it makes it look? bigger? I think it looks. Yes, it makes it look so bigger. It's easier for your and face. it also gets a good laugh because people call it the clown ball. Okay, it's always good for a laugh. It's always good for. Now a laugh. we were talking about the other day. Uh, we both like the fact that when we're practicing on the green here that you can see the spin. Exactly. You can see what kind of spin, and also when you putt, you can see if you misstruck the putt, because it'll it'll kind of roll goofy, and you'll see the spin on the on the, the pattern itself. So, uh, yeah, he definitely loves this ball, and he plays it uh, eh, okay, plays it okay. Watch the video, Beverly Hills. <laughs> I'll prove I can hit this ball. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's do the bag real quick, because I'm running low on battery life here. Uh, you, it's an OGO stand bag. You've had this bag for quite a while, haven't this you? This bag is tremendous. I've had, like I said, I probably had this for five or six years. No zippers have ever ripped on it, and it gets abused pretty good. It has no tears, no rips. I will keep this bag until probably the day I die or the stand breaks, one or the other. I, I think you got more years left in you than the bag does. Uh, and this, this definitely gets a lot of use. This right here, the ball pouch for when you hit it in the water all the time and you got to pull another ball out. Yeah. When I have to pull out another ball, I just pull out one of these babies right here. Nope, that ain't it. <laughs> I thought I had one in here, but that, I guess oh, I don't. Oh, the floater ball? Yeah. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap up. Uh, oh, you should talk. Scuba Steve's what's Scuba in Scuba divot tool. You should show them this pitch, thing. You want to endorse the pitch fix? Yes, I do. Th this right here is perfect for, for guys this man. that don't know how to fix divots. This is perfect. Yes, and the reason is is because it's a three prong unit and it goes into the green and you puncture the hole and it these little forks on the bottom actually lift the ball mark out of the ground and it's perfect for this man because he is so incompetent with a divot tool. It's not even funny. So. For my green, yeah. only the best. Yeah, pitch. There you go, pitch fix. Maybe you'll get only pitch fix to endorse best. it. Yeah, that's a Scooby Steve endorsement. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up the video if you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions for Scooby Steve, there goes his dog chasing the golf ball. 
If you have any questions for Scoob Steve, put them in the comment section below. But until next time, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see more of this guy. Sure. Go Vikings! Nope. <laughs>